We are continuing to follow breaking news. The top cop in South Suburban Dalton is facing a bankruptcy charge tonight, leading to new questions about who's in charge of the police department and whether the feds are closing in on the village's mayor. WGN's Jenna Barnes is live in Dalton now with the very latest. Jenna. Dana and Ben, this is the second close ally of Dalton Mayor Tef Tiffany Henyard to be indicted on federal bankruptcy fraud. And the lawyer tonight for Deputy Chief Lewis Lacey tells me this is all part of prosecutor strategy to get them to turn on Henyard. The man at the helm of Dalton's police department, Deputy Chief Lewis Lacey, now facing federal charges. It's a great day in Dalton. Justice is being served. Lacey, an ally of Mayor Tiffany Henyard, is charged with bankruptcy fraud, making false statements and perjury. Accused of concealing his income and lying about his spouse's income to avoid paying more than $40,000 he owed in a lawsuit settlement, the case dating back to 2015. The indictment notes Lacey has filed for bankruptcy seven times since the 1980s. I'm just so happy because this man needs to be taken off the street. He does not need a gun or anything. Those who've been pushing back against the Henyard administration are celebrating the charges, but Lacey's lawyer calls them a witch hunt. They're trying to find people that will um, uh, shy away and, and uh, cooperate with them against the mayor. Lacey is the second Henyard ally to face a bankruptcy fraud charge. Village administrator Keith Freeman pleaded not guilty. He's now cooperating with the village trustees who are investigating the mayor, and some believe him to be a whistleblower as well. They start with people that they believe that they can flip. Uh, they go down the line. They, they show up at 6 o'clock in the morning when a person is not lawyered up, when a person is just waking up, and they're telling you, oh, I'm here to just to talk to you and be nice to you and don't worry about it. And you're not under arrest. And then we're going to leave and we're not going to arrest you today. But here are some questions that we have for you. So immediately a person puts his foot in the mouth and and from there, uh, they're, they're, you know, the fish is caught. Is that what they did with Lacey? Uh, to a certain degree, yes. The indictment is separate from former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot's findings that Lacey was paid more than $200,000 in overtime in the last few years, despite not being eligible to receive OT. With all due respect to Lightfoot, um, it was her conclusion. She is nobody. She's just the person that came out with a conclusion, and the village is taking it as, as if it was the, the scripture. The village fired the deputy chief last week after placing him on leave. We're told he showed up to work even after receiving his notice of termination. There are some good people working for the police department in Dalton. My wife and I have met a couple of them, and I, I hope the powers that be will erupt allow one of the good ones uh, to fill the space. The community already looking ahead to where this indictment may lead. We got to take the rest of the trash out. Lacey's lawyer says he will surrender in court at a date yet to be determined, and he plans to plead not guilty. We're live in Dalton tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. Thank you, Jenna.